Hey guys, how you doing, G? Uh, thanks all for coming. <laughs> What's the deal with tablecloths? Why are we so obsessed with covering up our sweet wood tables? I mean, it's not as if tables are erotic, <laughs> unless you're a table sexual. So, uh, what's the deal with butterfly clips? I mean, why are people so obsessed with these things? I can't ever imagine having a situation where I need to have an animal that turns into a chrysalis and then turns into a bigger animal to tie up <clears throat> my loose hair. What? Ailson? Really? Amber Ailson? You work in a pub and your name is called Amber Ailson. Yeah, yeah, okay, <laughs> fuck you, right? My stupid dad named me after his failed beer company had in the 80s. He got caught relabeling some dead stock North Korean lager. There was this whole outbreak of methanol poisoning and lead. I think they might still drink it in Eastern Europe. Holy shit. Uh huh. Turns out Amber's not good for what ails you. <laughs> good one. Huh. What does Amber Ailson give you after a massage? A hoppy ending. <laughs> Have you seen Amber's family? They're all pint size. <laughs> well, look, it's definitely better than this guy's stuff. <laughs> Amber Ailson's full of yeast. Okay. So into this communist swing it. No, you know what? Fuck it. I am funny. You go into the bar and the bartender's got all these questions for you. He's got, you know, you want the light ale, you want the dark ale, you want hops. How many hops would you like? You know, it's madness. You know, they, they ask, uh, you, you want a pot? They got something called a pint and they got something called a schooner, which is some kind of ship. I mean, what kind of system is that? So I walk up to the bartender, I say, I would like six hops in a boat. <laughs> Comedians are cool. <laughs> Someone should totally end this idiot something though, huh? Oh my god, Sam. We should totally write a TV show about a vigilante who goes around killing comedians and stopping them from polluting the world with their shitty, shitty, shitty puns. That'd be sick. <laughs> Actually, that's... That's not a bad idea. <laughs> yes! So many things are so convenient now. I went to a 7-Eleven the other day and they had a tandoori chicken sandwich for five bucks and a double oak iced coffee for three. And I said, hey mate, here's my eight bucks. I'll take my pants off. You can shit in them for me. They give me the eight bucks back. <laughs> Cause I guess like my stomach is so weak, the tandoori and the iced coffee. <laughs> it's a diuretic. <laughs> I just wanted to bring the laughter. <laughs> You bombed. You missed the final punchline. <laughs> the curtain has fallen. And now there is only silence. <laughs> Sam. Sam. Do you want to say it? What? Yep. He just cool. needs like a really cool name. Yep. <laughs> anyway, so. Oh, get off your muppet. Jesus. All right, fuck sticks. I've got a little one for you. Now, this joke is a classic told amongst all the best comedians. Strap in, Tom's got a funny. He's not the aristocrats. So this all Amer Fuck it. This all Aussie family walk into a talent agency. A father, a mother, a little boy, a little girl, and a little white dog. Amber, do you know where the main power switches are? So the talent agent asks, well, what do you do? There is an air horn next to them labeled Tom. The father says, well, it's a family act. Suddenly, all of them start stripping down naked and the little white dog takes off his collar. Go. Go now. Go, go. The mum starts jerking off the dad, the boy and the little dog too. Woof. All of a sudden, Jizz hits the daughter right in the chest. They start... <coughs> Fuck. Every bloody time. Oh my god, I know. Tony's so hot when he kills. I think it's the power thing. What are you watching? Actually, I'm writing the, um, the script idea. Is it my comedian vigilante idea? Hey, I think you should call it the Heckler. <laughs> Holy fuck, Cousin Chrissy just sat on the dog. <laughs>